Hey y'all, Austin here with Live and Lastly, and today's video is about a campground review. Over about the last year and a half or so uh, of living full time in our RV, we've stayed at about 65 different campgrounds and RV resorts, and we thought that this place deserved its own review video uh, to go up uh, for you guys to see, uh, to maybe get some ideas in the future. Uh, it's very, very uh, family friendly. Uh, it's a great RV resort, and yeah, so we're gonna show you guys that and hope you enjoy. Hog Valley Treehouse and RV Resort in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So, if you are looking for somewhere to stay in Northwest Arkansas near Fayetteville, this is the place for you. Yeah. Um, it's right off of Interstate 49, um, which makes it makes it easy access to get on and off um, the a major um, interstate. It is. Stunningly beautiful with green trees surrounding all everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like I mean even you can see in the background This is what we back up to uh, If you're a bird watcher, there's birds everywhere. We saw our first roadrunner. Road, yeah. Have you ever seen a roadrunner? Cool. Um, they're all over this park apparently mm -hmm. the people that live here like full-time uh, Say it's like the mascot of their park <laughs> yeah. They're uh, super cool little birds, but anyways, um, it is minutes like under 10 minutes really from yep. Fayetteville as Walmart, so yeah any major anything. grocery stores yep. restaurants uh, shopping anything like that you're really close but yet you still feel tucked away in kind of this serene you know beautiful place and it's far enough off the highway yeah. where if you're at the office in the front you can hear the highway noise but back here where all the RV the RVs it's are awesome. yeah you don't we don't hear the highway at all. Yeah, so. and speaking of the RV start, uh, spots, there are about 119 in the back past the pool um, that are a mixture of some asphalt, uh, some pull throughs are uh, concrete, and then you've got a bunch of gravel spots. They have some short term back here, and then up front, uh, they have a row uh, by the office that is strictly long term. Um, so that's kind of how the park is actually set up. All the sites have picnic tables and fire rings, um, so that's actually pretty cool and then they also do have a, a dedicated section up by the playground area uh, for tent sites and they're raised beds off the ground um, so that's a pretty cool little deal that mm -hmm. they have there yeah also uh, this park kind of has it all you've got your tent camping your RV camping and then you also have cabins mm -hmm. there's three cabins when you first come in and then they also have a private road leading to these treehouse cabins um, you know that are the cabins up on stilts and you you're just basically yeah. up there with the trees um, and we I could tell you about the cost of it but rates change all the time and depending on when you come during the week or weekend um, just follow we'll post yeah, the website just go, yeah just go to their website and it shows all the prices and I'm yeah. sure those get updated you know periodically just mm -hmm. like anything else uh, and so that's that um, and on site they also have propane filling stations so that's uh, convenient and they also have wood already chopped on site it's five dollars it's on an sticks. honor system. And it's on an honor system. There's a little box <laughs> which there. Which I love that. Yeah, you just drop your money in and you get eight sticks for five bucks, which is actually a pretty good deal yeah. uh, in comparison to some places we've been. Uh, they also have a small store uh, where their office is that just has some basic necessities that you might might want to get that you don't want to necessarily drive 10 minutes to, to Walmart or something. Uh, like but that. there is a gas station literally like a mile down yeah, the road yeah, too. So you yeah. can get a lot of those. And it has diesel fuel things. if you want to fill up before you leave or yeah. something like that. So that makes it really convenient. Um, and they also do accept packages here and your mail and they don't give you any grief about that at all um, And so that's actually a cool little bonus we, uh, One day one of the owners actually brought our package <laughs> to our front door, yeah, so which was, I was like was, wow this That was different super nice so, um, But yeah, that's usually that can be a hassle for some people receiving packages sure. that are full-time So sure. it's nice that they don't give you any grief here okay, So one thing that really excited us about this place whenever we did our search online was all the amenities that they have for families um, They've got a good sized pool um, and then a little splash pad connected to it They've got two playgrounds that are 
really good size playgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tons, there's like swing, swing sets on both of those, then an extra swing set. They've got a rec hall that has cornhole, and um, yeah, the rec hall actually uh, doubles as a as storm a shelter. Storm shelter because you're in Arkansas, which is super cool. so you never know. Um, so and then um, they've got what else? Uh, basketball court, yeah, volleyball bas court, uh, tons. Bagga, bagga ball? Is that how you say that? Baga? I don't know. I don't know how you say <laughs> that. But they have like KOAs. Y'all don't make fun of us for yeah, this. They have but... like KOAs and stuff. Uh, so <laughs> um, I don't know what it's called. And then just tons of like a grass, a whole grassy space up front to just kind of play whatever you want to play. Yeah, Any very kind of well-maintained so. grounds, and they're yeah. always out doing something. Mm -hmm. So they're always around, they're always helpful if you need them, uh, so that's pretty cool. And Wi-Fi, right? Uh, people always ask about Wi-Fi or what you're using. Uh, fortunately, we have our own setup, so we don't have to use campground and Wi-Fi because you can't rely on it. And this place actually on the website does say that. It talks about, you know, this isn't the strongest, so bring your own. Um, and I did speed tests that I'll pull up here and you can look at. I did one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. Um, so it kind of shows you your speeds. You're not probably going to be able to stream much of anything. You can probably do some web browsing and maybe on your phone. But just if you come here, just know that or any campground for that, for that matter. Yeah, this isn't the first one we've been to in yeah. two years that doesn't have the greatest of Wi Fi. Yep. And I mean, it's a trade off. You're in, you know, kind of these trees and hilly area and you're kind of you feel tucked away um, and secluded. So with that, you know, yeah, sure. it's maybe a little slower. Sure. Um, but also um, back to the amenities aspect of it, they also have a covered pavilion with barbecue grills. They've got um, uh, two dog parks. And oh, this was huge for me because I usually bathe our dogs just in our shower and bending over, it's just really not fun on your back, it sucks. So when we go to places that have dog washes, it's like, oh! And this one so is like raised, it's raised. It's raised, uh, like there's no bending over. So that's it's cool. Bring your own, you know, dog shampoo yeah. and you've got the whole yeah. station there. It's really cool. Yeah, and then connected um, to the dog, the dog park in the back uh, with all the back lots, is a, the, that's where your laundry facilities are. There's also some showers which there. Which also doubles as a storm, storm shelter. shelter. So they actually have so two, two, one two in the front, storm shelters, one in the back. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, those are the amenities of this place. It's um, I mean, overall, what do you, uh, I think it's awesome. Oh man, I think with the room of the site, mm -hmm. uh, the beautiful views, how close you are to everything, but you don't feel like you're like in the middle of downtown. Yep. Um, it's uh, one of my other favorite things, you guys, it's 25 minutes from Devil's Den State Park. Great state park. If you come here, you stay here, you're in the area, go check that place out. Um, and but yeah, I mean, I uh, give it, I give it we five give stars. We give it five stars. Uh, the staff is really uh, friendly. Um, you know, like I said before, we've stayed at you know 65 plus campgrounds in a year and a half, and uh, this one was up there on the on the resort style. Well, I'll just say we've spent a month here, and usually by that third week, if we do a month, we're like ready to kind of move on. Yeah. We could definitely stay here longer. Oh, I could see us doing a whole another month here. I, I could see us coming back because we also you know you meet the people that do live here on site, um, and they have little families, and that's always cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think it's overall a great place. Five and, stars. Yeah. From the last. Week. I hope the review was good, guys. Um, if you uh, like us, liked it, uh, you know, always hit that like button, subscribe, and throw us some comments if you've ever stayed here or if you know of anything around this area that we could potentially go to. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs>